They were the picture of success. Choi Jin Hyuk, the brilliant lawyer. Ha Yun Ju, the renowned neuropsychiatrist. Their life, a tapestry woven with threads of wealth and accomplishment. But even the most intricate tapestries can hide darkness beneath their surface. Their world seemed unshakable, a fortress built on years of careful construction. Then tragedy struck, leaving a gaping wound in their lives. Their son, their pride and joy, was gone. The life drained from their perfect picture, leaving it faded and brittle. Grief, a relentless tide, threatened to pull them under. Jin Hyuk, ever the pragmatist, sought solace in work, burying himself in legal battles. I have to stay busy, keep my mind off things. Yoon Ju, shattered, retreated further into herself, the vibrant woman she once was, now a ghost haunting the halls of their home. I just, I can't find the strength anymore. It was then that Seon He entered their lives. A young girl, orphaned and alone, she became their lifeline, a chance at redemption. They poured their love and grief into her, desperate to rebuild their shattered family. Seon He, with her quiet intelligence and watchful eyes, seemed to sense the cracks in their carefully constructed facade. She was a mirror reflecting their pain, their desperation, and as she blossomed under their care, so too did the whispers of doubt. I hear things, whispers about my past, about us. The other mothers at school whispered about Seon He's past, about the circumstances of her adoption. Jin Hyuk brushed it off as idle gossip, the envious ramblings of the insecure. It's just nonsense, Seon He. Pay no mind to them. But Yun Ju, her psychiatrist's mind always working, couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't right. There's something... I can't put my finger on it, but something feels off. Then came the murder, a brutal act shattering the peace of their affluent community. Fingers pointed, accusations flew, and at the center of it all stood Seon He, a chilling accusation hanging over her head. We have to follow the evidence no matter where it leads. The walls of their perfect life began to close in, the cracks widening into gaping fissures. Jin Hyuk, his lawyer's instincts kicking in, vowed to protect his daughter no matter the cost. I will defend her. I'll find the truth. But as he dug deeper, he unearthed secrets, buried deep, that threatened to destroy everything he held dear. What have we uncovered? This, this can't be true. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. Seon He, her eyes wide and frightened, maintained her innocence. Her voice trembled as she repeated her plea, hoping someone would believe her. I didn't do it. You have to believe me. I didn't do it. She pleaded, her voice barely a whisper, her desperation palpable. Each word was a cry for help, a plea for someone to see the truth. But her words rang hollow in the face of mounting evidence. The documents and testimonies seemed to paint a different picture one that Seon He couldn't reconcile with her own reality. Seon He, please tell us everything. We need to understand what happened. Seon He's face was pale and streaked with tears as she clutched Jin Hyuk's hand desperately. Her grip was tight, as if letting go would mean losing the last bit of hope she had. Her eyes pleaded for understanding, for belief. She needed someone to see past the evidence, to see her truth. How can we be sure, Jin Hyuk? How can we be sure she's telling the truth? How can we be sure she's telling the truth? The evidence is overwhelming, and yet, there's something in her eyes that makes me want to believe her. Yoon Ju, torn between her husband's unwavering faith and her own gnawing suspicions, found herself questioning everything she thought she knew. The conflict within her was almost unbearable. Was I protecting a monster? Was I so blinded by love and desperation that I couldn't see the truth? Had our desperation to fill the void left by our son blinded us to the truth? Had we been so eager to find solace that we ignored the signs? The weight of their lies, the secrets they had buried deep, became an almost physical burden. It was as if every unspoken truth, every hidden fact, added another stone to the invisible load they carried on their shoulders. The more they tried to conceal, the heavier it became, pressing down on them with relentless force. We must fight this. We must show them the truth. The truth is our only weapon, our only shield against the darkness that seeks to consume us. We cannot allow these lies to define us, to dictate our fate. We must stand together, united in our resolve to uncover the reality that has been hidden for far too long. Jin Hyuk, his face etched with fatigue, fought tirelessly in the courtroom, his words sharp and convincing.
Each argument he presented was a testament to his unwavering dedication, his refusal to back down in the face of overwhelming odds. The courtroom was his battlefield, and he was determined to emerge victorious, no matter the cost. But the truth, like blood, had a way of seeping out. No matter how deeply it was buried, no matter how many layers of deception were piled on top, it would find a way to surface. It was an unstoppable force, relentless in its pursuit of the light. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I implore you to see reason. Look beyond the surface, beyond the carefully constructed facade, and see the truth that lies beneath. It is not just a matter of justice, but of integrity, of doing what is right, even when it is difficult. His suit rumpled, his eyes bloodshot. Jin Hyuk argued passionately in a crowded courtroom. The weight of the case bore heavily on him, but he stood firm, his voice unwavering. Every word he spoke was laced with conviction, a testament to his belief in the cause he was fighting for. His voice was hoarse, his demeanor a mixture of confidence and desperation. He knew the stakes were high, that the outcome of this case would have far-reaching consequences. Yet, he pressed on, driven by a sense of duty, a need to see justice served. I won't let this go. There is more to this than meets the eye. I will dig deeper, uncover every hidden truth, no matter how painful or shocking it may be. This is not just a case. It is a quest for justice, for the truth that has been obscured by lies and deceit. Detective Lee Sung Woo, a man with haunted eyes and an unwavering sense of justice, refused to let the case go. He had seen too much, knew too much to simply walk away. The shadows of the past loomed large, but he was determined to shine a light on them, to bring the truth into the open. He had seen the darkness lurking beneath the surface of their perfect family, and he was determined to bring it to light. The secrets they harbored were like a festering wound, and he was the surgeon, ready to cut away the rot and reveal the truth. It was a daunting task, but one he was prepared to undertake, no matter the cost. As Sung Woo delved deeper, he uncovered a past riddled with deceit, ambition, and betrayal. Each document he read, each clue he discovered, painted a more complex and sinister picture of the Choi family. The deeper he went, the more he realized that the shadows of the past were not just lingering, they were actively reaching out to manipulate the present. Past sins cast long shadows, reaching out from the grave to touch the present. These shadows were not just metaphorical. They were the very real consequences of actions taken long ago, now coming back to haunt the living. The Choi family, once seen as a pillar of the community, was now under a dark cloud of suspicion. The seemingly perfect family began to unravel, thread by thread. Each revelation pulled at the fabric of their carefully constructed facade, exposing the raw and painful truths beneath. The more Sung Woo uncovered, the more the family's secrets spilled out, like a tightly wound ball of yarn coming undone. This family, there's so much more than what they show to the world. Behind their serious faces and tense smiles, there were hidden secrets, lies that had been buried for years. The Choi family had always presented a united front, but now, cracks were beginning to show, revealing the turmoil within. Detective Sung Woo stood over an evidence board, his face illuminated by the harsh glare of the overhead light. He had spent countless hours piecing together the puzzle, each photo, each string, a testament to his relentless pursuit of the truth. The board was a chaotic map of connections, each one leading back to the Choi family. Photos of the Choi family their faces now etched with suspicion and fear, were pinned to the board, connected by red string. Each string represented a lie, a betrayal, a hidden truth. The once respected family was now a web of deceit, and Sung Woo was determined to untangle it. Every piece of evidence, every lie, it all leads back to them. The more we uncover, the clearer it becomes that the Choi family is at the center of this web. Each new discovery is a piece of the puzzle, bringing us closer to the truth. The investigation took a toll on everyone. The relentless pursuit of the truth was exhausting, both physically and emotionally. The team worked long hours, their faces etched with fatigue and stress. The weight of the case was heavy, and it showed in every furrowed brow and tired eye. Jin Hyuk and Yoon Ju's marriage, already strained by grief and suspicion, began to crumble under the pressure. The constant stress and the weight of the investigation were too much to bear. Their arguments grew more frequent, their conversations more strained. The love that once held them together was now overshadowed by doubt and mistrust. And Sion He, caught in the crosshairs, retreated further into herself, 
her silence a shield against the storm raging around her. She watched as her family fell apart, feeling helpless and alone. Her once vibrant spirit was now subdued, her eyes reflecting the turmoil within. The shadows of the past had cast a long and dark shadow over her life, and she struggled to find a way out. The truth, when it finally emerged, was more shocking, more twisted than anyone could have imagined. It was a truth born of desperation, fueled by guilt and a love so fierce it had turned toxic. The revelations came in a torrent, washing away the carefully constructed facade of the Choi family, leaving only wreckage in their wake. Betrayals were exposed, loyalties tested, and the line between love and obsession blurred beyond recognition. Jin Hyuk, his face ashen, finally understood the true cost of his ambition of the lies he had told to protect his family. Eunju, her heart shattered, confronted the devastating realization that the daughter she had fought so hard to protect was not the innocent she had believed her to be. And Sion He, the girl who had come into their lives seeking love and acceptance, found herself more alone than ever her world reduced to the sterile confines of a hospital room. Justice in the end was a double-edged sword. It offered closure, a sense of right being served. But it also left a trail of devastation in its wake, a family torn asunder, forever marked by the sins of the past. Perfect Family is a haunting exploration of the dark side of ambition, the lengths to which we will go to protect those we love, and the devastating consequences of our choices. The echoes of Perfect Family linger long after the final credits roll, forcing us to confront our own capacity for darkness, the secrets we keep, and the lies we tell ourselves